Well, you want to build your own chatbot using your own data for your website or intranet, customized to your data and your solutions. It's never been easier. Here's a 10 minute demo on how to go end to end building your own chatbot that looks like this. If you like and enjoy this video, subscribe. Let's get going. Right, so today we're going to be creating a chatbot using your data. And um, what it's going to ultimately allow you to do is create um, advanced question answering out of the box and it will ultimately assist with your um, uh, customer support and queries. And you can put this on your local intranet as well to ask questions of your data. Um, typical use cases in the insurance industry would be um, client wants to um, add cover for all risks items not sure if you can do it um, commercial insurance um, or extra health care um, or within the claims environment as well so let's um, let's build up something around the chat feature all right so if you haven't already sign up to uh, google cloud and log into vertex ai uh, you can check out my other videos to ultimately enable you to get to that point <clears throat> all right but i'm assuming that you've got all that so what we're going to do now is click on the chat all right so click chat and what we're going to do now is ultimately enable your um, dialogue flow um, because this is what we need all right so let's just enable the api this may take a minute let's go one st4 data as my agent name all right and if you wanted to pop in the okay, case so of company name all right so this is going to be first for data.com all right so pop in all the information that's relevant to you time zone if you want to do multi-region which basically means that there's redundancy so if your chatbot goes down it'll ultimately flick over to the next server all right so that's all very good you can check out the pricing if you wanted to so let's click on create a new data store. So let's go create new data store. So as you can see here, you can choose a website URL, a big query, which is data in your database, Google's cloud storage or an API. Uh, so let's just do a website URL for now. And what we can do is let's just go and have a, all right, so we can go continue. All right, we can just put a data store name in here. So it's my website. All right, let's select it, create. All right, so what we've done now is we've created the app. Your agent is now created and you're automatically directed to the available data stores page. All right, um, you can add more data stores if you would like. So to open the agent um, with dialogue flow, let's just click on preview. All right, so dialogue flow uh, CX is a console that you can add or edit more data stores, uh, deploy the agent and add some flows that'll handle scenarios not covered by the data stores. So let's just do a quick test over here. Start page, let's go test. All right, and let's just do a test, say hello. Hi, how are you doing? All right, so what is your name? All right, my name is AI Assistant. I was made my first for data to assist you, etc., etc. All right, so as you can see on the right hand side of here, we've tested it. And what we can now start doing is start adding in some more um, granular details and performing. All right, so okay, so we can go to agent settings over here. And this is ultimately where you can um, look at getting further information. And all right, so export the dialogue flow history to BigQuery. So you can now start ultimately um, logging your um, clients' interactions with your questions and chatbot to basically try and see what they're searching for. Um, this is obviously an important thing. Um, all right, so we're going to pop it in there. And the generative AI. All right, so we've got some standard band phrases, but what we can pop in here is saying poopy. We don't want any words like poopy in there. Responses from enterprise search grounding. Agent name. All right, so what should we call this agent name? Let's call this agent name Talula. 
Um, yeah, so the agent identity, we can call it a um, online, what is called an augmented intelligence. All right, so here's what it's going to look like. Your name is Tallulah and you're a helpful and polite augmented at first for data, official e-commerce site. Your task is to assist humans on the company website. So company description is um, an AI consulting firm. All right, it's a generative model. We can now choose which one we want to look at over here. We can pop in the Gemini Pro. So let's pop in Gemini. Right, so here's basically what it looks like. Your name is Tallulah and you're helpful and, and polite. All right, and what we can now do is hit the save button. Okay, so once we've got the agent set up, what we're gonna do now is just ultimately test the agent. So click the test agent, you can click on the reset over here, um, or you can do some tests and you can save use cases. But let's just do a test over here. Let's just say, um, hello, what is your name? And it should come back with Tulula. Um, all right, so hi, my name is Tulula. Let's just make this a bit bigger. And what we can, what can we do today? Um, all right, so let's just because now we've loaded up first for data into our um, uh, data store, so it knows exactly who we are, what we want to do. It's scroll, it scanned our website. This did take a few hours, so I had to come back and um, ultimately test it again. But it does now work. So, um, what does first for data do? Right, so the first question we're gonna ask it is, if you were a client on the site, you would say, what does First for Data do? You wanna get a quick answer, and let's see how well this agent performs. It's using the Gemini backend, so it does have advanced LLM features, and again, searching our data. All right, so First for Data is virtual consulting services that specializes in implementation, data solution, integration of AI in insurance. And that is 100% right, that's from my homepage, and um, perfect, so, um, what services does First for Data have? And what we can pop in here is just ultimately test that out. So, range of services, AI business strategy, generative AI, agile business intelligence, training, all right. Um, Okay, so absolutely 100% right. So this over here is working quite well. If you want to fine tune this and start working with a bit more stuff, go add some more data uh, to your data store, but we won't do that right now. All right, what we're gonna do now is publish it off. Okay, so to publish, really simple. Let's just make sure that we save our um, agent. So you can just go into your agent settings and make sure you've hit the save button if you've made any changes, okay? Um, you can lock the agent if you did want to, um, but we won't do that for this for the time being. All right, so let's just go back to over here, and what we can do is go publish. All right, so environment is going to be a draft environment um, and unauthorized API. So any anonymous anonymous access, or you can use a authorized API. So if you had an internal user or internal uh, base that was looking at it, you could do that. Um, but we're going to just keep it as unauthenticated anonymous for now because we want to put it on our website and which, which is going to be great all right so you can restrict domains or subdomains that are allowed to send requests to dialogue flow all right so if you've got any domains that you don't want um, people to access to all right so it can be a pop-out or it's going to be on the side panel so let's make it a side panel because that's pretty common enable that okay all right, so end users, are, it will be billed to your Google Cloud account. All right, so add this agent to your website by copying the code below. All right, so it's basically done all of this for you. And what we can do now is just click on copy and we can pop it into our uh, local intranet. So let's go try it now. And here it is over here. First for data agent, and we can say here, hello. What is first for data? Okay, so 
again all pretty uh, that's what it's going to look like on your website so what we can do now is if you wanted to pop it onto your local intranet really simple copy this code and pop it into your uh, website and um, ultimately there's going to be a couple more uh, uh, videos on building this out so if you want any more specific information or any features uh, let me know in the comments and hopefully you have fun with building your own AI chatbot uh, good luck and um, subscribe and like to the video if you enjoyed this thank you very much for watching